Welcome to the part 7 of the Pitman Shorthand course. In this video, we are going to talk about diphthongs. So there are a total of 4 diphthongs in Pitman Shorthand. So let's see how they look and sound. So the first one is this one. This is sounded as I. I as in I. Next one is this one. This is sounded as Ow. Ow as in now. Third one is this one. This is sounded as Oi. Oi as in enjoy. Fourth and the last one is this one. This is sounded as you. You as in music. Now there's a special phrase that you can memorize so that you can remember these diphthongs. And that phrase is I now enjoy music. Alright, now we're gonna see the places and outline positions for all these four diphthongs. So the diphthongs I and Oi are placed on the first place and the outline for these diphthongs are made above the line and the diphthongs ow and u are placed on the third place and the outline for these diphthongs are made through the line okay so now we're gonna take some examples for all these four diphthongs so let's do it all right so let's start by taking the diphthong i so we're gonna take some words in which we are having the sound of i so suppose if you have a word called pi. Alright, so now we can see that we have the sound of I because if you pronounce this word, it goes like pi. So we are having the sound of I just after the P consonant. Alright, so this pi word will be written like this. Okay, so as you can see that we made the outline above the line because as we can see here it says above the line and we put the diphthong on the first place because as we can see here it's the first place all right so that's how we write the word pi let's take another example like a word called ride so here also we are getting the sound of i just after the r consonant so this right word will be written like this Right, so we can see that we made the outline for this word above the line because as we can see here it says above the line and we put the vowel on the first place because as we can see here it says on the first place. So that's how we write the word right. Let's take another example like a word called night. So this night word will be written like this. So here also we have the sound of I just after the N consonant. So that's how we write the word night. So we made the outline above the line and we put the vowel on the first place. Let's take another example like a word called light. This light word will be written like this. Alright, so here also we made the outline above the line and we put the diphthong on the first place. So these were the examples for the diphthong I. Now let's move on and take some examples for the diphthong ow. So we have to take some words in which we have the sound of ow. So suppose if we have a word called cow. So see we have the sound of ow because if you pronounce this word it goes like cow. So just after the K consonant we are having the sound of ow. So which is a diphthong. So this word will be made like this. Alright, so we made the outline for this word through the line and we put the diphthong on the third place because as we can see here it says through the line and we can see here it says on the third place. Let's take another example like a word called loud. So here also we are having the sound of ow. So here also we're going to be putting the our diphthong for this word loud so this word will be written like this so we made the outline for this word through the line and we put the diphthong on the third place because as we can see here it says through the line and we can see here it says on the third place let's take another example like a word called ouch so this ouch word will be written like this. So we have the sound of ow in the starting. So that's why we put the diphthong on the diphthong just before the J consonant. This is our J consonant. 
and we made the outline through the line and we put the diphthong on the first place all right let's take another example like a word called pouch so this pouch word will be written like this all right so because here also we can hear the sound of ow so that's why we uh, put the diphthong this out diphthong here for this word and we made the outline through the line and we put the diphthong on the third place all right so that's how we write the word pouch now let's move on to the diphthong oi so we have to take some words in which we have the sound of oi so suppose if we take a word called boy so see we have the sound of oi just after the b consonant so this boy word will be written like this all right this is our b and then we have the diphthong oi and we made the outline above the line because as we can see here it says above the line and we put the vowel uh, we put the diphthong on the first place because as we can see here it says on the first place all right so this all simply means that suppose for this diphthong oi whenever we will have any word in which we have the sound of oi so for all the words for all those words this rule will apply all right we're gonna be making the outline above the line and we're gonna be putting the diphthong on the first place okay and same goes for all these four diphthongs all right let's take another example like a word called toy so this toy word will be written like this all right this is our t and then we have this uh diphthong on the first place and we made the outline above the line all right because we are having the sound of oi just after the t consonant so that's how we write the word toy let's take another example like a word called coil so this coil word will be written like this all right so that's how we write the word coil we made the outline above the line and we put the diphthong on the first place let's take another example like a word called joy so see here also we're having the sound of oi so this joy word will be written like this all right this is our j and then we have the diphthong on the first place and of course we made the outline above the line so these were the examples for the diphthong oi. Now let's move on and take some example for the fourth and the last diphthong, which is u, as in music. So suppose we have a word called dew. So see, we have the sound of u just after the d consonant. So we'll take, we'll make this dew word like this. All right. So this is our word. Uh, this is our d consonant and this is our diphthong u and we made the diphthong on the third place because as we can see here it says third place and we made the whole outline through the line because as we can see here it says through the line so for all the words in which we have the sound of u this whole rule will apply for all those words okay so let's take another example like a word called few so here also we have the sound of u okay so this few word will be written like this all right so we made the outline through the line and this is our diphthong on the third place so that's how we write the word few let's take another example like a word called beauty so this beauty word will be written like this Alright, so this is our B and then we have this diphthong on the third place to represent the sound of U and then we have this T and then we have this final E vowel to represent the sound of E, alright? And we put the diphthong on the third place and we made the outline through the line because we have to follow this whole rule. Okay, so let's take the final example for this diphthong U. So suppose if we take a word called duty so this duty word will be written 
like this. All right, this is our D and then we have this diphthong on the third place and then we have this D. Then we have this final E vowel to represent our E sound. So that's how we read the word duty. And that's all for the diphthong. That's all for this part. And I will see you in the next part.